everyone, thank you for joining me on this channel. So you're thinking, what is Sparkling in a Cube? Pretty much, I just wanted to share with those of you out there interested, my love of sparkling wines, particularly sparkling white wines. It doesn't have to be uh, fancy, expensive champagnes. I mean, I've tried a whole different range, and some of my genuine favorites are actually ones under $20. But I'll sort of go over all of that, ones that I like, sort of foods to pair it with and everything. And no, I am not a wine expert. I really wish I was. I am sort of working my way there. It might be many years before that happens. But I thought just to put everything sort of in layman's terms, you can come and join me on my sparkling wine journey. And any sort of information I learn along the way, whether it be through courses, different wine events, etc., I will share with you. So that's going to be on there, sort of how to, uh, to food to go with, etc., pairings, wines that I like, different price points, champagnes, uh, white sparkling wines, red sparkling wines, uh, rosés, etc. So that's all going to be on here. And not just Australian wines, because I am based in Australia, even from New Zealand. So you'll see some New Zealand wines on there as well, but from across the world uh, and sort of where I buy them from, etc. So that's all going to be on here. So just this little introduction just to sort of tell you a little bit about myself and my channel. So my name is Tina, because I've got other channels that I will link in down below and I also want to do maybe a blog along the lines once this is up and running. Uh, some of my first videos are going to be just on very basic things, something like opening um, sparkling wine, because I know sometimes it's a little bit tricky for some people. I've even seen people in restaurants, they seem to be afraid of actually opening it. Uh, but it's, it's a very simple thing to do and I'll just sort of show you my knack. Of course there's different videos out there by proper professionals but look I'm showing you how I do it the easiest way and why sparkling in a coupe I mean I do love sparkling but I also love sort of coupe it's something that I collect I know that there's a big thing out there that they prefer it to be in um, that different types of flutes uh, there's also other different types of glasses and they go on about you know the different type of glasses that it's best to enjoy sparkling wine in because you might lose the, uh, the <laughs> of the wine etc but I actually just prefer Cooper. I think they're so elegant they look great I mean I know it, it does obviously there's a lot of surface area as you can see and the bubbles do disperse a lot quicker than they might do um, if they have to travel up along the glass and it might be better if they're actually shaped like that to sort of help with the um, aromatics etc and the enjoyment of the wine yeah, I just really like it I like the whole elegance the whole sort of festivities around our wine and I really think sparkling isn't just a wine that's to either come out like a cheap bottle at like a party or something and it's also not something a really expensive one that you, you just have for a fancy dinner event or some special occasion like a wedding it can be enjoyed at, at any time I think at a barbecue it can be paired with uh, a dinner at home or at a restaurant and I think it was sparkling, whatever it be, whether it be white, uh, rosé, it can be paired with anything across the board, whether it be a fancy meal or or even just a simple one at home. Hey, look, even toasty sandwiches. I don't know. I think it can be, sort of be paired with anything, but there is a whole thing out there that people have this idea that's either a fancy wine or it's a cheap thing. Maybe uh, what they've tried in the past, but. I don't believe that. I think it can be a wine enjoyed with any sort of meal, just like red or you know, non-sparkling white. And like I said, I like a lot of, whether it be non-vintage, vintage, vintage uh, brutes, uh, pignon noir, pignon gris, anything I like a whole smorgasbord of different uh, types, varieties, etc. And I want to share that with you along the way. So if you are interested to see more from this channel, please uh, subscribe to keep up with my posts and also like this video and any of ones that are coming up just so and give me some feedback what do you want to see on this channel what do you like about sparkling wines whether they be just sparkling or champagne wine so guys thank you for joining me and I look forward to you coming along on my sparkling wine adventure thank you